Lubrication. Now, I've done a completely separate YouTube video just talking about air lubrication for automatic t-shirt printing machines. But what we're going to show you next is how to fill the lubrication system and how to adjust the lubrication system. the RFL, which is a regulator filter lubricator. This is an automatic drain, so if, if there were any moisture to accumulate in the system, it would automatically drain. Now, strongly recommend that you use a high quality air chiller system, which is also a dryer, which will reduce the temperature of the air coming from the compressor and remove the moisture. So this is more of a fail safe. You can adjust the air pressure that the machine receives here via a gauge. This is your oil lubrication fill tank. So you simply pull that back, rotate it, and there's your oil, and that's how you'll fill it. Now, going forward, there's an adjustment here. And what you typically want to do is have the machine running at a very fast pace with all of the heads operating, and you want to try to get one drop of oil to fall every 30 to 40 indexes. You'll notice on the Mustang there's a sticker which shows you the appropriate oil that you can buy from Granger with the Granger part number so you can properly maintain your machine. Now we're going to talk about lubrication. Most index systems in the modern machines are using ball screws. Now the Mustang uses a ball screw with a little twist, pun intended. So the screw itself is encapsulated much like the rear end of a pickup truck. So it's full of oil, and as the parts are moving inside, the oil is slung around to lubricate all of those parts. So what we're going to talk about is how the servo, the servo coupling, and the oil level needs to be inspected. Now, in the older technology machines, they had an oil tank with a drip system, which was very problematic because the drip system can get clogged. With an encapsulated system, you literally can run for millions of prints and not have an issue. But it's very important to check the oil level to make sure that everything is properly lubricated. This is a servo motor. This is a servo motor mount and inside the servo motor mount is a servo coupling. It's attached to a ball screw. Now one of the unique features of the Mustang is that it's an encapsulated ball screw drive system. You'll notice this sight glass. You can see the oil level. What's critical here is since the ball nut is rotating via the motor and the coupling, the oil will sling around inside this housing. So when you want to check the oil level, you want to make sure that it sits, say, overnight. All the oil that's been slung will settle and you can easily check the oil level.